Lesson 2 provides an overview of submitting transactions. This includes starting a new application and performing a search. Now you will get instruction on starting a new application using the Apply for Benefits module. The welcome page is the starting point for new applications. Before we begin navigating, please be aware that some pages will be omitted from display in this demonstration in order to allow more time for specific points of instruction. In the live system, you will definitely see more pages that need your attention. Select the Start a New Application For option to start an application. Then click the Continue button. The Apply for Benefits Before You Begin page displays. The next button moves you forward through the pages for applying for benefits. The Medical Assistance page displays. Click Next. The Completing This Application page displays. Select this option to fill out the information on the customer's behalf. If you are unsure, check with your Gateway Administrator. The next button moves you forward through the pages for applying for benefits. The Contact Information page is the page where agency personnel enter their information. The name field is required on this page. However, from the drop-down menu labeled Applicants Relationship to You, you should also select Is Not Related To. The next button moves you forward. The Assistance Programs page displays for you to make selections for the customer depending on their desired program. Select the box next to Medical Assistance. The About You page eventually displays. This is where you begin to enter information about the customer. Notice that there is a series of menus at the top of the page. When you complete the information on a page, the system will drive you to all the other necessary pages under these categories. The next button moves you forward. When you have completed a module of information, the system drives you to a review or summary page to make final confirmations. These pages allow you the opportunity to make adjustments to the information that you entered or selected within the module. Review or edit the information on these types of pages and make any necessary changes. You click Next when you are done. When filling out information on pages in the system, be sure you know who the information is for. That person's name is generally at the top of the page. Also, this page, titled People in Your Home, calls for more attention. The first time this page shows up, it populates with the information for the primary individual or head of household or the main applicant that you are working with. At the bottom of this page, you have the opportunity to add more people to the application. The number that is entered includes the primary individual or the head of household. The next button moves you forward. When you have completed the application, the system drives you to the Finish and Submit module where there is a HIPAA notice. This is an important step in applying. The electronic signature needs to be filled out with the customer's name as acknowledgement of this information. Click the Next button when you are done. The Signing Your Application page displays after signing the HIPAA notice. There are a few areas of the signature page that need to be answered, such as voter registration. The customer's name goes into the fields at the bottom of the page. Click the Submit button when you are done. Once you have submitted the application with an electronic signature, the Congratulations Confirmation page displays. 
The tracking numbers for the application are shown here. A printable version of the application is available when you click the Print PDF button. The next button takes you back to the welcome page. Now you will get some instruction on using the Perform a Case Search option. The welcome page is the starting point for performing searches. These preliminary steps will get you started for uploading verification documents, reporting changes, checking inquiry status, and reviewing benefits. The searches in this demo are generally case searches for a primary individual. Select the Perform a Search option to start your search. Then click the Continue button. The Transaction and Case Search page displays. Because we are performing a search for a case, we are going to focus on the Case Search tab. You must click on this tab in order to start a case search. The Case Search tab allows you to search whether a person has a case in the Georgia Gateway system and view details of an existing case. From this tab, you can either enter the client ID and the date of birth or the social security number and the date of birth. For this demonstration, we will populate the social security number and date of birth fields since we don't know the client ID number. Click the search button to submit. The benefit summary page is the check my benefits page for the customer and it displays their benefit information. The links at the top of the page display as they would in the customer portal. Use these links to take more action on the customer's behalf. Content under the My Benefits tab displays by default. The Benefits Summary has three areas for review. Case Information, My Benefits, and My Renewals. In the Case Information section, you can see a snapshot of the cases for the customer. In the My Benefits section, you can check the status of a case and view details. In the My Renewals section, you can see a reminder to the customer for renewals and initiate renewal of benefits for the customer. As you can see, there are many areas of information for you to access from this page. We will focus on four main areas. Uploading documents, reporting changes, checking inquiries from the My Applications tab, and renewing benefits. Now you will get some instruction on uploading verification documents from the Benefits Summary page. This is the customer's Benefits Summary page. You should remember that you access this page by choosing Perform a Search from the Welcome page and then submitting a case search. Click the Upload Documents link to load documents on the customer's behalf. This is the customer's document page. Before you upload any documents, you will need to indicate the type of document by selecting from the options listed, such as a bill, a copy of a lease, or medical documentation. If the document that you are uploading does not match what is listed here, use the ABD Provider Forms option. You also need to select what you are submitting for, such as a case or an application. Next, you need to select the individual that the document is assigned to from the field here. If the document is for the whole applicant group or the case in general, such as a lease agreement, the field here is disabled. Once you click the Attach button, you can start to upload the document. Click the Open button to confirm your selection. The page displays the list of past documents uploaded as well as current documents that are pending. Now you will get some instruction on reporting changes from the Benefits Summary page. You are back at the customer's Benefits Summary page. Again, you should remember that you initially access this page by choosing Perform a Search from the Welcome page and then submitting a case search. Before we begin navigating, Please be aware that some pages will be omitted from display in this demonstration in order to allow more time for specific points of instruction. Click the Report My Changes link at the top of the page. To get started, simply select the type of change or multiple changes 
that the customer would like to report. Then click the Next button. When you are making a change on any category, you are likely to come upon a page that displays both the information that is already on file and the update or change to that information so that you can compare. If you are adding information, generally, you will get an opportunity to confirm or elaborate on that ad so that your change is recorded properly and so that the system drives you to the other pages based on the new information. Confirm information on these types of pages and make any necessary changes. The Changes in Your Home Personal Information page displays because the change option that was selected in the previous page indicated that someone's personal information changed. Notice that there is a series of menus at the top of the page. When you complete the information on a page, the system will drive you to all the other necessary pages under these categories. Since in this demonstration we are populating fields to change someone's information, we are working on a page under the Start People modules. Confirm information on pages that you input data on and make necessary changes. There are other change pages that allow you to confirm a list of possible updates to the customer's circumstances. Please note, the options listed at the top of this page don't apply to every page. You may see some of these on one page and not the other. Confirm information on these types of pages and make any necessary changes. When you have completed a module of information, the system drives you to a review or summary page to do a final review. Review and summary pages allow you the opportunity to make adjustments to the information that you entered or selected within the module. Review or edit information on these types of pages and make any necessary changes. When you have reported all changes, the Sign Your Change page displays. Scroll through the pages and read through the content. Remember to select an option for voter registration that displays further within the signature page. The customer's name goes into the fields at the bottom of the page. Click the Submit button when you are done. Once you have submitted changes, the Thank You Confirmation page displays. The tracking number for the change report is shown here. A printable version of the change report is available by clicking the Print PDF button. Although some pages make reference to the customer logging in to retrieve information, this is not the case when the customer is applying through a partner or provider. Customers applying through partners or providers cannot access the status of their applications or cases from the customer portal. Now you will get some instruction on checking status of inquiries from the Benefits Summary page. Let's start again from the Customer's Benefits Summary page. Again, you should remember that you initially access this page by choosing Perform a Search from the Welcome page and then submitting a case search. To check inquiries, you click the My Applications tab. Submitted inquiries are available from the My Submitted Inquiries link. Results of your submitted inquiries display under the My Submitted Inquiries section. You will now get some instruction on renewing benefits from the Benefits Summary page. From the Benefits Summary page, you can assist a customer with renewing their benefits. Use the Click Here to Renew Your Benefits link under the My Renewal section. This will take you through the same pages for entering and updating information for a renewal. Pages to renew benefits will display for you to confirm or update information. The system drives you to the same Apply for Benefits pages that you are familiar with. In this lesson, we covered Start a New Application and Perform a Case Search.